Special thanks to these companies for being long-term partners of this channel. Otis, come. A sneak peek at the uh, dog platform here. So if you haven't seen the dog platform video on my channel, I'll link it up in the top right. Uh, but this is the dog platform. So Otis has actually kind of outgrown this, which is unfortunate because it makes us three, you know, all staying in the car a little bit more challenging. But I brought it along with just Otis and I because I'm gonna use it for storage space. So I'll throw my battery and a bunch of stuff up here on it and it's gonna be super convenient to just have that extra space and not have to have it laying on the bed. All right, so we got everything set up and it's actually pretty awesome on the sides here. My Molly panels from FinFab, they are basically coming right to the mattress. So this works really well. Folding it out is a little bit tough, but it still fits fine. And then I've just got some blankets and my comforter laying here and then a heated blanket kind of laid out. So we'll see how everything goes because um, if I still get cold, I've got a sleeping bag as well, but I think this should work out quite well. So now I've just got stuff laying back here on the drawer system and hopefully we can get some dinner cooking up here and it should work out pretty sweet. platform projects are coming in handy. Oh, nice having these gloves. I can just like play with the fire. <laughs> you want to tip it over, you're saying? No, I said it was probably well. Oh, that's 
solid right there, Jake. Hard to argue with that. Otis, stop. Why are you eating that? Because this pipe, once it heats up, might be in luck. So, what kind of cheese is that? Duda. Oh, yeah, the best stuff. I know, right? But if you don't like it chunky, then you don't. Sick angle of the water not boiling.
side is orange, but it's not boiled. Faulty product. Come here, Otis. I've been warming up my other propane tank in here on my heated blanket. Well, I'm pretty sure my heated blanket's off. See if it works or not. In the meantime, I guess I can prep my coffee. Jake, let's see if this one works. It's a little bit hot, but it's still pretty cold. Yeah, I don't think my heat blankets have turned out anyway. Man, I've seen multiple ways to use the AeroPress. Yeah. I don't know what's the best. I've never tried one. No idea either. I've seen some people will put the plunger in and take off the filter and then put it up like this, pour it in and let it soak. Mm -hmm. And then put on the filter and flip it and then plunge. Oh, uh, interesting. To get that, I guess, let it thicken. Actually, yeah, wait. How do I... Well, actually, the, it w doesn't go through the filter very easily. Right. Oh, but you're saying completely, like, interesting. Huh. Yeah, or what you can do is, too, if you... Oh, to stay here. Someone's walking. Uh, well, it goes through quicker than I thought it would. push down and suck it up a little bit and it'll hold that in there if you want it to you my friend may be a scientist after all no, just watch so many videos <laughs> <laughs> once again you too <laughs> I think you're a scientist <laughs> We're back. I uh, just did a whole outro and nothing recorded, so trail videos are basically dialed at this point. No, I'm just kidding, but we've had a good one night trip out here. So I've been doing a lot of modifications and it's just kept me pretty busy. And between that and work, I haven't you know, been able to get out and do too many trips or camping trips, but um, it's, it's been fun to test out the setup this weekend. It's starting to get quite dialed in. Uh, like I've said before, I absolutely love this drawer in the back here because uh, it's standing height for me and so it's basically like a countertop working space I was able to prep all my food and uh, you know coffee this morning everything on it it's super nice and uh, even though I guess I managed to spill my dinner last night completely on the ground so maybe I, it doesn't really matter what my setup is I'm gonna make mistakes like that but uh, anyways was able to still find something to eat. But I was actually really warm last night. It was super comfortable. It was a milder night in Minnesota, but I was able to stay super warm. One of the awesome benefits of sleeping in your vehicle is you can just turn it on at any point if you're actually really cold. And so I did that right before going to bed just to warm it up in there. And then this morning when I was really not feeling like getting out and uh, walking around in the cold, started up the car to really warm it up. Um, so that's really awesome. It's a nice feature of sleeping on a sleeping platform. Uh, but I also have been running an electric blanket or a heated blanket off of my Blue Eddy 1500 watt hour battery. Maybe you've seen the review I did on that, but 
That thing ran my electric blanket all night long and it still had more juice to go this morning. I think it's got like 40% battery left. So it's pretty sweet. Uh, worked out really well, kept me warm and Otis warm. And so that's kind of the setup for winter camping is just using a heated blanket because I tend to not have super great luck with gas. So I cook with it and that's about it. And I like using the electric blanket, it's just easy. So that's kind of the setup. We're just enjoying some coffee this morning. I'm probably gonna wrap up the video here. Uh, enjoying some awesome light roast coffee in my Spirit 1876 mug and just kind of enjoying the peaceful morning here with Jake. Uh, go check out Jake's channel, by the way. He started up a, a probably camping and, and some gear review channel uh, with his Subaru Outback, which is pretty sweet. I haven't seen a lot of overlanding channels that have Outbacks, tend to be, you know, Forerunners, Jeeps and Tacomas and Gladiators, that sort of thing. So, you know, go check out his channel if you're more of a soft roading guy. And uh, with that being said, you know, subscribe, uh, like this video if you enjoy the camping videos. Uh, I'm probably not going to be doing these every weekend, but I'll try to do them when I can. And uh, that being said, I'll catch you all in the next video. So have a good one.